Let's go. Adam Frater here bringing you a shredded workout you can do right from home. To start off, we're going to dive in by warming up for about five to 10 minutes. Now, before you roll your eyes, the reason that we're warming up is to create elasticity in the body. It helps reduce injury, but most important to you athletes, it's going to allow you to be as great as you can to reach your potential. If you don't warm up, you're not able to output as much in the gym, in your workouts. If you warm up, if your body is prepared for the workout ahead, you will get that much better of a workout. So that's why we warm up. We warm up to get a better workout so we can gain faster and more efficiently. All right, I'm gonna go get my warm up. I'm gonna go jog around the block. I don't start off at 100%. I start off at about 50%, gradually build up to 75%, eventually getting towards 90%. No need to go to 100% in a warm up. We'll get to that in the workout. Go find your warm up, whatever it is, make sure you warm up. Let's get it. Okay, the first workout is a 15 minute circuit. So you're gonna need a stopwatch or a timer on your phone. You're gonna set 15 minutes, we're gonna start. In the 15 minutes, you're gonna to try to do as many rounds as possible. There's four exercises with a certain amount of reps for each exercise. You rest wherever you need it. If you can't finish the reps, so for instance, if there's 10 reps, but you can only do five in one turn, do five, take a second off, finish the other five before you move on to the next exercise. So that's how these AMRAPs are gonna work. AMRAP, A-M-R-A-P, as many rounds as possible. First exercise is fly push-ups. So we fly the hands out, normally they're shoulder width. Here we're gonna stretch them an extra width apart, about an extra foot. From here we're gonna point the fingers outwards. We're actually gonna have the elbows go out wide like we're doing flies. Get up on those toes. If this is too much, you can put your knees down. There's your regression. Otherwise, if it's still too much, you can bring your hands in to make it easier. The wider we go, the more we're gonna focus on our chest. From here, don't be weak in the shoulders. Press through your shoulders. Be strong, don't let your hips drop. Be strong here, go all the way down to the chest, and then up through the shoulders, that's one rep. I don't wanna see this. I wanna see these shoulders protract, push through those shoulders. And that's gonna be the first exercise. Moving on to the second exercise. This is windshield wipers from the floor. So go ahead, find a good position on your back, legs up, they come off to the side, and off to the other side. Now while you're doing this, don't arch, try to press your lumbar into it so you're in boat position from here, your hands can give you support if you need, legs come up, they go off to the side, you roll to that hip, you're using your obliques, you're using pretty much the full range of your core from side to side. Now the more speed you use to change side, the more your muscles are going to have to engage. So if you want to make it harder, you can go here and really use your arms to push. And that's the second exercise. From here, we're gonna move into the third exercise. Now the third exercise, these I kind of made up, kind of a variation of a, a yoga thing, but it's a tricep push-up. So we're gonna start from here in push-up position. We're gonna push down. We're gonna bend our knees and bring our elbows back. And then from here, we're gonna come back forward and into push-up. And what this transition is gonna do is it's gonna really work the tricep. So you're still doing a push-up, Still targeting your chest, but now we're really gonna work the triceps. So I'll show you it in real time. You're down. Dynamic movement. Again, if it takes a while to get this movement right, you wanna make sure you have the form down before you start the circuit. So just practice it. If you wanna do the push-up part from your knees, again, that's fine. Come to here. Otherwise, again, slowly lower down. You can even put your knees down as you practice the transition. Then then shift forward and do that push up, keeping the elbows tight to the body the whole time. The fourth exercise, and you can tell I'm already out of breath. That's how much the circuit's gonna work, you guys. These are rope climbers. One of my favorite core exercises. So from here, I lay back, feet come up, I reach for the imaginary rope, I pull. I pull, you can bend the knees if you want. I pull, and with each one I pull, I'm compressing the core. I'm getting that last little bit of compression here with each pull opening up and compressing. And that's gonna burn you out. Now, when you finish a round, again, you don't rest at the end of the round. You go right back into those fly push-ups, and then right back into the second exercise, into the third, into the fourth. Try to rest as little as possible. Do as many rounds as you can 
post them in the comments of this video. Would love to see how many rounds you get. I'm gonna do mine and share that as well. In the bottom, in the description of this post, you will see the reps and sets for beginners versus intermediate versus expert. So basically everybody will be able to do this exact workout with different rep sets, but everybody's gonna be doing it to 15 minutes. I'm out of breath just from demoing and showing you. And what's great about this workout, whether beginner or expert, is that it comes down to how hard you push yourself. You can do three rounds or you could do six rounds. When you start to push yourself, you start to get your heart rate in that upper percentile, that's when you're gonna to start to feel the change. That's when you're gonna to start to feel the adrenaline. You're gonna feel like an athlete. You're gonna feel success. And this is what's gonna motivate you to keep wanting to train like this. So give this a shot, guys. Try this home shredded workout. This one is specifically chest and core, but stay tuned for my next workout. I'll give you guys some lower body exercises that you can do right at home, along with some back, some shoulders, targeting all the muscle groups. You don't need any equipment. I'm gonna show you how to do it right from home. Subscribe to this channel, like this video, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you on the next shredded clip. Peace.